Sandra, I will take it from here. It is never too early to teach children life-saving skills. Take a look. We have some wonderful guests here in our studio. And with the school year starting, you can send them off to class with knowledge that can potentially help others. Joining me now to talk about the Citizen CPR program, Michael Lampert. Thanks so much for being with us. Um, tell us what you think young children this age need to know about saving lives. Well, first of all, as they've already learned, when they come onto a scene, they look to make sure it's safe. A lot of ways, much like crossing the street, they know not just to run up, but they know to look around and make sure it's safe. Second, they know check the person and to call and activate 911, which is so critical, even adults sometimes forget to do it. And finally, they're actually learning today how to save a life by doing compressions, which gets the oxygen around the body and can actually keep somebody alive. So I was asking about this citizen CPR program. Tell us about that, but you were also saying there's another program, especially for these kids, that is kind of the full learning experience on how to save a life. Sure. Citizen CPR, the idea is to try to get as many people, adults and children, trained to save a life as okay. we can. So we can do that very quickly. But we have full CPR classes and full first aid classes which we encourage everybody to take on top of this to really expand their knowledge and help make our community that much safer. And so show us a little bit about what these kids are doing. They're not working with um, a body here. They've got these little fake ambulances. What are you teaching them? Well, once they've come up and they've realized that there's a problem and they've, act, they've checked to make sure things are safe and they've called 911 and they found the person is unconscious, these little ambulances, believe it or not, are actually designed when you compress on them to feel very similar to the mannequins, very similar to real situations. So everybody get in position, we've checked, they're unconscious, we've made sure the scene's safe, we've called 911, remember to lock those elbows, there you go, and go ahead, you ready? Do the compressions, go. Five and six and seven and seven. Remember from the heel of your hand. And so, you know, Thanks. This is ideally Good job. not what you would want, but you never know what could happen. You could be home with your child. What kind of stories have Super. you heard about kids stepping in and taking action? Kids step in in the same way adults do and sometimes even more. And what's really great is we're giving them the skills, not just to, it's the same skills that adults have. And that's what's really nice and why we enjoy even working with the kids because we'd be teaching the same class to adults they get the same life-saving skills and they really can keep somebody alive for fire rescue when the paramedics show up and for them to get to the hospital and hopefully have a full recovery. All right, I'm going to ask Jack down here. Is this easy? Is it hard? It's hard. It is hard? Why? Because you have to like use this part of your hand and then put your other hand over it. Sure. And But the easy part would be to immediately call 911, which you know how to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So tell us how people can get more information if they're interested in making sure that their children know CPR or maybe there's some adults out there. I know I'm, I'm one of them saying I need to learn too. Well, the easiest thing to do is contact your local Red Cross office or you can go and call the 1-800 um, number or go online and find out where there's a class. If you have a group that would like a class, you can contact the Red Cross and we can arrange for an instructor to come in and teach your group. So if you have a business and you want to, you know, carve out, what is it, a lunch hour, an hour, two hours, how much time do you need? This citizen CPR program we can do in a half hour. Half an hour, and it's life-changing. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us. Kids, you did a great job. You can be ready to go back to school. Hopefully, you never have to use it, but definitely contact the American Red Cross if you're interested. Thanks for being with us. Thank we you. appreciate it. We'll be right back.